So next time you're looking at your favorite shot from an animated film or TV show, um, and you see some amazing action on the screen, some characters that seem so alive, an environment that just looks so fantastic. Uh, it's important to understand that that wasn't created by just one person. Uh, teams and teams of people work together um, on a pipeline and they all have to work together so that whatever they're building goes down through this sort of assembly line process and, and works. So at the very beginning there would be an, in production um, creating all of the assets. So everything from the floor, the walls, the character, the cars, the environment, everything has to be modeled, created in the computer. So that would be the modeling department. Then every single one of those assets has to be given surface properties so that when you see the end result, it looks like wood, metal, plastic, whatever, and interacts with light properly. Then after that uh, asset's been built and surfaced, then it needs to be rigged. Whether it's a prop or whether it's a character, it needs to be able to move, be in an environment so that someone like a layout artist or an animator can manipulate that object, put it into the scene, and then have it move. So riggers are really important because they, they create the machinery that allows someone to use the object. So a good analogy for an animator is the rigger is the person who designed the vehicle. So the car designer, right, builds the car in a way that an average person can sit down and drive the car. So that's me as an animator. I can't fix the car, I can drive it. That's it. The riggers are the mechanics. They're the people that really know what's going on under the hood. They spend a lot of time working with the modelers to make sure the asset will perform as required. So that way when the animators get the asset, they'll know what the limitations are, they know how to use it, they'll have an interface that makes sense. Um, just like we do in a car, there's a steering wheel, a brake, you know, brake pedal, gas pedal. It's easy to understand how to use. And that's what riggers really are, are all about, is making sure that the asset gets passed from being made to being usable. Then the animator's job is to go in there and create believable movement, um, whether that's a creature, a character, a car, a vehicle. Um, we love movement. We love understanding how things move, weight, physics. And if you're like me, a character animator, bringing characters to life. That's what I really love to do. So that's a difficult skill. It requires a lot of patience, a lot of dedication, but it's important for everybody to understand that goes for any artist position in an animation studio. Everything takes time and patience, but what makes that feel less like work is passion. So whatever passion you have, um, that usually is where most people lean into, is they discover it. And the only way to know what you like is to try a lot of different things. So that's why having a program that lets you try a lot of different stages of the pipeline lets you flex those muscles and sort of discover your niche, what excites you, what interests you.